Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum, the guitar podcast. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating three different harmonic tremolos. I just love all three of these things. I've had uh, the Gravitas and the Nightwire around forever now, and I just got the Monument in, and these are all my no-sell list. Like, I just love these things to death. They all do things a little bit differently, and sometimes a lot bit differently, and they all have their, uh, you know, their their adorable qualities that I just can't get over. Um, let's check out the Monument first. It's the newest one of the pack. Uh, I've been using it a lot. I've been using it for my surf band a lot, just because it really nails this classic kind of easy to use waveform. Uh, really good range on the depth. I really like how hard and choppy it can get. It's a really dramatic effect uh, when used in kind of a classic way. So here it is on the harmonic tremolo setting. <laughs> Something I really love about harmonic tremolo is that it gives you that motion and makes it feel like everything's just pulsating without taking the volume out like you do with standard tremolo. So, and at the same time, it's not a weird over the top effect like a phaser or a flanger or even a chorus. It sits in the mix a lot more uh, naturally than those kinds of modulations do, but it still gives you that pulsing feel that, you know, just really like engages the music in a really interesting way. It, like makes the, the audience like perk up and go like, what am I hearing? Why does it sound so different all of a sudden? Uh, so I'm a big fan of that. Uh, the Monument is great in a lot of other ways. The standard tremolo is awesome on it. Uh, there's a really neat waveform on the uh, the full right side of the knob here that gives you randomization, which is really cool. So it's called the Monument setting, and let's check it out. <laughs> This really neat, like randomized, glitchy, you know, pulses and cuts is just really lots of fun. I like to take glitchy sounds like that and put it before delay pedals and other time effects so that it starts like shooting it all over the place and makes it sound like this crazy noise that's unpredictable. Big fan of that setting. Um, let's turn that off and we'll show off the Nightwire now. The Nightwire is its own beast. I've never played with another pedal that sounds quite like this thing. It's a lot closer to like that modulation sound that I was talking about, a little bit more filtering, a little bit more like a, like a wah-wah thing going on. So let's check it out. Here we go. <laughs> So no tap tempo on the Nightwire uh, compared to the Monument and the Gravitas, but what it does have is this control that lets you adjust the speed with your playing dynamics. It, you know, it senses your speed and, and ramps up, uh, it senses your playing dynamics and ramps up the speed with your playing. <laughs> And that's just a lot of fun. Another uh, quirk of the Nightwire is that if you dial down the depth on the tremolo part, you get this really neat uh, auto filter from the frequency knob when you flick that switch over. So I'll show that off right now. Kind of a weird little 
riff there, but uh, you get the idea. Um, I use this thing as an auto filter all the time. I like to put it before drives and just throw it on instead of using a wah or you know a envelope filter or anything like that. It just does the job and it sounds great. And of course, you can dial the harmonic tremolo in over that for some even weirder sounds. <laughs> It's a really cool pedal, really a uh, unique sound for a harmonic tremolo, and uh, really fun options on there. I didn't even scratch the surface on either of these. I'm just kind of doing an overview. So let's get into the gravitas. And speaking of not scratching the surface, like this thing is uh, bananas. There are so many controls on all Chase Bliss pedals, but especially this one, you can just dial any little tweak you can think of into this thing. I've got it set up right now so that the uh, the rate of the tremolo is ramping up and down and the sway of the tremolo is ramping back and forth. Um, let's check it out. <laughs> There's just so many crazy things that you can do with the gravitas. Uh, you can completely control the shape of the waveform by selecting the shape of the beginning of the waveform and the shape of the back of the waveform, and then tweaking the the uh, what is it called the sway knob to determine the the position of the peak of that waveform, either towards the front or towards the back or right in the middle, whatever you want to do. Connect expression controls to the gravitas or to the monument. Uh, on the monument, it just controls rate of the effect, but on the gravitas, you can assign it to any control you want. Like it is a tweaker's dream, like I've said, like over and over and over again. Like, and you know, presets on there. You can save two presets on board and then get an external thing that'll save even more, or, or save it through MIDI, and you can save like hundreds of presets off the gravitas, and all the other Chase Bliss pedals too. Like they're just marvels of modern engineering really but uh i'll say this uh, the gravitas is a pedal where if you love to tweak and you want to spend hours and hours working on it and finding like all the crazy things it does is great but if you want a more simple pedal that you just throw on your board and you're ready to go and do some tweaks and get some really powerful sounds the monument is awesome and then of course uh the nightwire if you're getting if you want to get freaky and really freaky the Nightwire is going to get you there. All these pedals are very different, but then also they're still doing the same thing as each other. They're doing harmonic tremolos, uh, and then the Gravitas and the Monument also function as standard tremolos as well. Uh, neat thing about the Gravitas is that it can do your standard tremolo and your harmonic tremolo at the same time. So let's give that a listen real quick. <laughs> So what you get there is a signal that goes up and down in volume, and as it's going down in volume, the signal's also getting darker, which is a pretty cool effect when you think about it. Uh, really quirky things you can do with the Gravitas. Just find all sorts of weird stuff to do with it. Well, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to play it out by playing all three pedals at the same time and finding some kind of uh, settings that make that work somehow. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and go check out these pedals and uh, do some window shopping or something, huh? If you buy one, tell them I sent you. <laughs>